Hi, this will be the third part of three videos uh, describing how the shell executes processes and pipes its input of the output into the input of another process. We've done uh, an example where we've piped PS minus A output into a grep. Let's extend it to one more process. Here I have PS minus A piped to grep, piped to word count minus L. Go ahead and try that on your console and see what happens. Word count just takes the output of grep and counts the number of lines uh, in that text file. How does the shell work in this case? It's very similar to what we've seen in part two. We need a third process though in order to run the third process that we create. So I have drawn on the board uh, pretty much where we left off last time. I have the bash shell. It forks and waits. In the child of the bash, I create a pipe. In this case, I'm calling it P1. I close the right side of the pipe, and then I dupe the read side of the pipe over to the standard in for that process. Now, anything I write into the pipe will go into the standard in for that process. And then I fork and I wait, because I'm waiting for another process to put something in the pipe so I can run. With the fork, I create another process. And in that process, I close the read side of the pipe and dupe the right side of that pipe over uh, to standard out. So the output of this process will go into the pipe. Now I create another pipe, pipe two. What I'm gonna use this pipe for is to take the standard out of a third process into the standard error. So we're gonna write code very similar to what we did before. I will close the right side of the pipe of P2 and I will dupe the read side of the pipe over to my standard in. Dupe 2, the read side of this pipe, pipe 2, to my standard in. And then I will go ahead and fork and wait. So what happens is I create another process and I wait until it finishes. In this process, I need to close the read side of the pipe of P2 and then dupe the right side of the pipe over to standard out. So the standard out will go into the pipe and can be read into standard error of the, of the of standard in of the previous pipe. Now I'm ready to execute my process. Of these three, which should be executed in the, let's see, child, grandchild, great grandchild of the bash shell? Well, we want the PS output to go into the input of the grep and the output of the grep to go into the input input of the worker, of the word count. So here I exec PS, and then when it's done, the output of PS is in this pipe, I exit. That process stops and the parent who is waiting starts executing again. We'll exit, we'll exec the grep here It will execute, take the output of the grep, put it in pipe one. Let's exit that process. The child of the bash shell now will uh, wake up because it's waiting for its child to finish, or the grandchild of the bash shell, and we'll exec our word count. The output of this process goes to whatever happens to be standard out, or one, which is the council. When it finishes, it exits, and the bash shell again runs and puts up the prompt, waiting for the next set of commands. Thank you.